Hey, this is Kat, and this is your Marketing Minute. Although, I'm adding a little spin of cells to my Marketing Minute now. Um, hey, today I want to talk to you about how do you overcome negative thoughts? And if you are doing any type of business development, that is the hardest thing that anybody could possibly do. In fact, a lot of people don't even want to do it or don't like doing it. So they avoid it and they try not to do it. But here's the key thing with business development and prospecting and sales and cold calling and what have you. You have to have it as part of your marketing mix. If you don't have business development, lead generation, whatever you want to call it, right? If you don't have that as part of your marketing mix, you're never going to grow your business to where you want to be, never. And we all want to grow our business and we all want to be at some level of success, whatever that level is. We all predefine that. We all know what that is. I hope that you document it and I hope you hold yourself accountable. So how do we overcome the negative thoughts as we encounter the no's, right? Because we get a lot of no's. You have to get a lot of no's because you have to get so many no's in order for you to get a yes. You can't get a yes without getting a no. Unfortunately, those are the law of dynamics or whatever you want to call it. So you have to get a lot of no's so that it sells is a numbers game. Business development is a numbers game. Lead generation is a numbers game. Not everybody that we reach out to wants our good services or products. Not everybody, you know, newsflash, I hate to say this, and I know this is going to burst a lot of people's bubble, <laughs> but not everybody wants it. And unfortunately, we have to pillage through a lot of people to find the ones who are hot leads, the ones who actually have a need for your service, product, good, or whatever it is that you have, brand. And in order for us to find those people, we have to call a lot of people who aren't interested, right? And that's where you hear a lot of the no's. So how do you overcome the rejection? How do you overcome the negative thoughts? Because you are going to have, you know, rejection. You have to. And you are going to have negative thoughts as a result of it because you're going to feel like a failure, I know that when I, in my old cold calling days, I used to hate it in the beginning. Nobody trained me. I just got on the phone and just called from the yellow pages. If anybody knows what that is, the yellow pages. And so how do you overcome these things? And so it really is a mental state of mind. It is a total mental state of mind. And the first thing I will tell you uh, that you can overcome that is take breaks, take breaks in between your calling. Don't do it all at once, you know, maybe do, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes, take a break, go walk around, take a hike, do something to breathe and exercise your mind. So taking breaks, throughout your business development, lead generation, cold calling, whatever you want to call it, take a break in between it to, to give yourself a sense of humanism and so that you can refresh your thoughts and just come back energized and excited again, right? So that's one, one thing to overcome. Second uh, suggestion I'm going to give you is make a game out of it. I used to make a game out of it. I used to do a little tick mark and I used to see how many calls it took to get a yes. So I made a game out of it. And to me, that helped me overcome all the negative negative feeling I would, would have felt if I didn't make a game out of it, right? So I made a game out of it. Um, the third thing you can do as, as far as like not feeling so depleted and uh, exhausted and defeated, okay, is if you're working with a team, swap leads. Because here's one thing I will tell you that, uh, and this happened a lot in my corporate world when I was a sales trainer uh, and sales manager, is one lead for one person may not be the right fit for that person, right? So we used to swap leads all the time. And when we swap these leads amongst our team, somebody else had huge success, not because, and you know, this always came up in conversation was, well, I warmed that person up. That's why they bought, 
you know, and sometimes it's not that. Sometimes there is a connection with the new person. And so swapping leads helps that exhausted feeling and it's refreshing for the new person to call them and make some headway and whereas the other person did not make any headway and that's okay because we all have different ways and tactics in order to connect with people so um so those are three ways that uh, my suggestion for you in order to not feel that negative feeling of being you know, feeling depleted, feeling like, you know, you're defeated or anything like that, because here's the reality, people. Here is the reality. I know you don't want to hear this, but here's the reality. You are going to hear no, and you're going to hear no, no more times than you hear yes. And that's just the law of statistics, the dynamics, whatever you want to call it. That's the, the law of the way it happens. You have to hear a no in order to get a yes. That's just the reality of it. So unless you're a hundred percent closer and a hundred percent, you know, gold mine finder, then you're no. Everybody will say yes, and I don't think I found someone who is a hundred percent where they find every lead and, and turn over every lead. So uh, you're human. It happens to everyone. And again, the way to avoid feeling that negative, defeated feeling is you know, to do one of the three things that I suggested, take a break in between your cold calling, your business development. Um, the second thing is to make a game out of it, make a sport out of it, you know, have fun with it. And then the third thing is swap leads with someone. Uh, if you're on a team, this is the perfect thing to do. So a couple ways on how you can break that defeated feeling, uh, but still achieve the results that you want. Because at the end of the day, I'm here to tell you that if you don't have business development, if you don't have lead generation as part of your mix, you are missing the mark on growing your business because you have to develop new business to grow your business. If you're not developing new business to grow your business, your business is not going to grow. I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> and so as a coming from a corporate environment, you know, it was my primary role to develop new business. I had a budget for developing new business. It was ongoing every day, every week, every month. It was a goal that we had to achieve. And if we didn't hit our marks, then we didn't hit our budget and then we didn't get a bonus. So it is a reality. And if big corporate companies are doing it, you got to do it too. You got to do it too in order to grow your business. Hey, I'm Kat Ramirez, CEO and founder of Advertising Hashtag Social Buzz. We, I help businesses stand out and grow. Follow me. Yes, follow me and learn more ways of how you can stand out and grow your business too. You got this. Thank you.